Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Dead State Blind. We've just come back from um, looting the, well actually, killing all the zombies in the old military uh, base. And um, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff to, uh, to take from there still. So we're gonna get all our heavy stuff off and uh, go over there. Right, so where's Max? Need to get his stuff as well. <clears throat> and then there's... Uh, where's Regina? Well, Amy. Take that off. That sounded wrong. Uh, and Regina. There we go. Alright, that should give us a lot more... Weight. Well, free space or free weight, whatever you want, carry weight, um, to uh, take all that stuff. And yeah, we also had some really weird, awkward conversations. So uh, that was a plus. Actually, before I uh, before I go, there's a ch there's chatter on the radio. Let's check that first, and then I have to check the car upgrades how they're going. Cedar Park fire rages on. Haven't heard from Tommy, but fire doesn't just stop. So. Get while the getting is good. You can probably smell the smoke in the surrounding towns. I'm nowhere near there, just passing it on. In other bad news, I realized today that my food supply is running low. Finished the last of the peanut butter last night, and let me tell you, eating this stuff had become the highlight of my day. I'm so hard up for the taste that I would even eat circus peanuts right about now. Anyone know any good recipes for chip dust and pinto beans? I guess starvation isn't so bad when the alternative is being eaten. Not like I could go anywhere with my car disassembled. I looked through it this morning and all I could find was a CD mix I made. I don't know what's on it, so why don't we just find out? It'll make the salted cardboard going down a little easier. Scratchy music begins to play. Alright. Well, sounds like uh, his days are numbered as well. Let's go to the job board. Uh, so let's see, advertised engine. Okay, we can do something else. Engine power over. Okay. You're doing that. So that's still being done and it's still gonna take a while. Can anyone else help? Jobs? Machinist? No. Mechanic? Nope, can't really help because you don't have enough mechanical skill. Great. Uh, what's your mechanical? Not enough. Medical 10, that's quite nice. Uh, do we want to make anything? Rotten fruits, parts, blah blah blah. I will really have to get off my arse one of these days and start... Ooh, very nice. And start, um... Uh, you know, hacking all those... All that information. Because I think that might be the... You know, the clue how to get... I don't know. Some kind of an ending, maybe? Maybe a cure or something, I don't know. But we'll see. Anyway. Uh, we have the same crew. <clears throat> We're gonna take horses and go to the old army base. Dandelions. Not really interested in that right now. We, we need more time to go over there, loot everything, perhaps go to the Abilene Bullseye as well. Why didn't I do that last time? Hmm, edible insects. Nope. Yeah, why, did, why didn't I do that last time? I mean, I was full up on equipment and loot, but I still had all the armor and everything. I could go and easily take on the zombies. Hmm. <clears throat> oh well. Alright. So now we have to be careful. Oh, what? Where the hell did you come from? Okay, let's avoid him for now. Get to the base. Drop the base! And then we'll loot and loot and loot as much as we can. And it's going to be glorious. Alright, now all of these guys have already been looted. I think the stuff that hasn't been looted is from this house on. I think we've already looted this house. But, yeah, apart from this house, no. 
Already looted that. Well, there's a dumbbell that I don't need. I could take it, I guess, but meh. Meh. Oh, what's there? Nothing. More computer stuff. Oh, we've already looted all that. Just making sure. Alright, never mind. Uh, now there's this this basement over here, but can't really go down there, because even with equipment, they were very nasty. So if we will want to take on those guys, um, which we don't really, because uh, we're not raiders, we would have to bring our best ranged equipment. So, you know, just shoot them quickly, have really good uh, ballistic um, armor on and stuff like that, so... Let's take all that. Nothing there. There's a laptop with more stuff that I usually don't care about. <laughs> oh, come on. What's in the fridge? Well, obviously lots of sort of food. Not actually that much stuff in this military base. I was kind of expecting more uh, guns and stuff, but I guess maybe they took them all down there to the uh, to the basement. And we've already looted all of this. Hmm, this was a bit of a waste. Actually, I should have kept my armor on. So I could, uh, you know, take on more of the uh, zombies. Well, maybe we'll just go for a scouting run then, you know? Never mind um, going and scavenging. Let's just do a scouting run and uh, unlock more of the map that we haven't yet. Well, you know how I always complain about this game, about this and that? Maybe I should give it praise for once. You know, as I've said, it is quite fun to play in a way. Um, but it is also quite expansive. You know, there's... Look at all these locations. They're not randomly generated, which is kind of a shame, but... There's a lot of them. The shops as well. What's this? Bear Arms Gun Store. That could be interesting. The RPG Codex. Ooh. Anything here? We have to start going back, though. Nothing here. Paradise Apartments. And there's nothing here. So, off we go. Alright, I wonder if there's anything else over here. <clears throat> ah, we'll be later than 8. <laughs> Your party gets tired after traveling at night. It becomes harder to fight in the dark. Yeah, great. Like, we need that right now, because we don't have any uh, armor on and such. There we go. We're back! Most melee weapons have alternate attacks. Simply right-click on the equipped weapon to see a list of attacks associated with it. Right, if I want to take the same uh, party out next time, they will have to drink energy drinks. Otherwise, they will be too tired. Ah, uh, there we go. Didn't really bring back much. 22 food, 3 gallons of fuel, and yeah, not, not a lot at all. So, not a good day, but oh well. Let's go to the second floor and sleep. Why aren't people sleeping? Come on. There. Yes. Uh, shelter summary, blah blah blah. Yeah, I ate food. We actually had a little bit of a minus net morale change. And we have exactly 200 gallons of fuel remaining. Ah, the shelter fence was attacked. Uh, looters have done zero damage to the fence. The earliest they could attack again is day 49. Uh, why? Why is this data even here? I don't know. It's so weird. Uh, four guards on duty for attackers. The fence is now at 100% intake. They never yet have done any damage at all. So weird. Hey, uh, all these late hours watching the school, I could really use a cup of hot coffee. You know, one time I got lost on the way home from training, and I found this great coffee place over in Hunt. Bit of a weirdo vibe, but Hunt's not too big a town. I bet there's still a ton of coffee there. Oh man, you don't want to know how many of those corpses are willing to fight for a pot of coffee. Agreed. Let's make this a priority. <laughs> Anything else to hit in Hunt? With with the bed, apparently. Oh, let's see. 
I don't remember much. I remember there was a guy selling oranges near the exit. He's probably not there now. Or if he is, I'm pretty sure he's not selling oranges anymore. <laughs> Let's check it out. See ya. Oh, this man showed up this morning. He's asked to speak to the leader of the group. I can barely see him there. Is that the guy? My name is Sergeant Hartz. Ooh, part of a forward scouting party for the United States Army. Folks, I have good news for you. Uncle Sam is coming to your neck of the woods. Now, I know you must have a million questions for me, but let me just start by saying that you people have built here is astounding, and if it was up to me, I'd have you all airlifted out tonight. Unfortunately, that's not possible right now. But I want to assure you, with your cooperation, I'll do everything I can to make this uh, that a priority. Hmm. I kind of don't trust him. We've been waiting for a rescue. When can you get us out? You're from the military? I thought they were wiped out. If you're from the military, why are there only a few of you? What we represent is a small part of a much larger force being put together to the north. We're part of the military newly formed civil assessment and reconnaissance team. Our job is to seek out survivors and find hospitable locations that will serve as outposts for our forces from the north when they retake this part of the country. The short of it is, we can get to everyone at once, so if you can help us out, I can recommend your school here for priority evac. Bullshit, it's your job to help us. Not interested. Hmm. Help you out how? We're scouts and most of our supplies are appropriated as we go. I imagine you folks have probably gone through hell to keep yourselves fed, but if you could aid us in a resupply, I could definitely persuade my commander that Splendid is a friend to the military. What? That's bullshit. Friend to the military? <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to protect everyone. Why aren't you using helicopters? Wouldn't that be faster? What do you need? Sorry, I can't spare any supplies. Yeah, I want to talk to your commanding officer. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Communication has been un unreliable for weeks. Car base, this is car 8. Do you copy? Static. I repeat, car base, this is car 8. Please respond. Car 8, go ahead. We have civilian presence requesting 1 and 1. Negative. Stood your order terms. Our base out. Sorry about that. Like I said, we're lucky if we can get a solid 5 minutes these days without losing the transmission. But I'm more than happy to lay out uh, our options for you. I want a solution that guarantees the rescue of these people. You're squeezing blood from a stone. We have nothing to give you. Yeah, I want a solution. I understand. Let me explain. We're going to be making a survey in this area over the next few days before we head to our next location. We're hoping you can resupply us on our way back. You give us about 40 rations of food and 20 gallons of fuel and I promise you I will have your people airlifted out of here within a month's time. I realize that's a big decision to make and that your people are going to need to discuss it. So we'll be back in a few days and hopefully we can work something out. Wait, can't you help us defend this place? Would if I could, but we're a small force and we've got our orders. Like I said, we can get you out of here, but HQ is going to assign priority to areas that assist military personnel. Why don't you discuss it? We'll be back in a few days. No promises. Wait, can you at least answer some questions before you go? I'll answer what I can. What's it like in the rest of the country? Is it really safer than Texas? In the quarantine zone up north, it's, not, it's like nothing ever happened. We've been recovering, expanding, recruiting. They're doing a great job. We've got multiple zones all over the country. At the rate our boys are handling things, probably have this country back to normal within a year. Another question. What happened to the people of this town that went to the shelters? I won't lie. Not everyone got out of the shelters alive. For those that did, they're safe and sound in the quarantine zone. We did what we could, but those first few weeks hit us all pretty hard. Why did the military pull out of here and leave us to die? It wasn't by choice. Seems most of our forces down here went AWOL, deserted their posts, killed our commanding officers. It's a damn shame. We're not proud of how we left things, but that's where the civil assessment and the reconnaissance team comes in. We're going to sort this mess out and get people to safety. Is there a cure for bites yet? Not yet, but they're getting real close. Matter of weeks before we have a vaccine. The science types are doing amazing work in the QZ. Probably have it done by the time you get there. Hmm. That's all I have to ask right now. I'll let, I'll let you get going. See you all real soon. Take care of yourselves. 
All right, men, let's clear out. The soldiers drive off. We should meet about this immediately. Okay, I'll meet you inside. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Interesting. I kind of don't trust him. But at the same time, we have so much food and fuel. I guess we'll just, you know, gamble and give it to them. Got a sec? I don't know how much it will help, but I remember passing a junkyard over in this region of this uh, highway on your map. Seems like with all the mechanical needs around here, we could use an easy source of extra parts. Was there anyone around, living or dead? I didn't see any. I heard a dog barking, but I doubt it's there now. Thanks. I'll check it out if I get a chance. You tell my sister to clean me up? You have no right to tell me or her what to do. I'm sorry, you almost died. I was worried about you. It's for your own good. I can't have you wasted when lives are at stake. Yeah. I can handle myself. I protected her. I've been doing my work here. <sighs> I could fucking kill you right now. Yeah? Try it, you pathetic fucking addict. <laughs> slap her. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I'm gonna slap her. I can't do it. I can't handle it. I just feel like this world is closing in around me. Please, just help me. I'm sorry, Mia. You'll thank me later. Yeah. You're not using in this shelter and it's final. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I'm sorry. You'll thank me later. Well, then fuck you. I hope you fucking get eaten alive. Then maybe you'll finally know what I feel like. And fuck Sara too, Mia screams. Banks her fist, uh, fist against the wall and runs off. Oh, so nice. There you are. I'd like to discuss the matter of the food taken from my house. I understand that sometimes you use this as an incentive to motivate people here. I think it's only fair that if you're going to use it for political favor, I be allowed to distribute my uh, food fairly to people who I think are doing the best job at keeping this place safe. I'd like about 20 rations of my food back. What? Everything we have is shared. I can't do that. Fair enough. You have my permission to take it from storage. I'll give you 10, and that's because if people think uh, you're hoarding food, they'll ask me to throw you out. I distributed it. I can't give it back to you. Okay, I'll give you 10. Hmm, I'm not entirely satisfied by this, but since you have more experience with these people, I'll assume you're telling the truth. 10 it is. Keep this between us, we'll talk later. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome! Whoa there, kid. Let's get, ba let's get back... Uh, let's get you back to your room. No way! I feel to... Hang in there. Almost back to your room. I'm cool. Ryan throws up on himself. What? Lovely. You're cleaning that up, Corbo. Is he drunk? Ugh. I can explain. Couldn't... Kid couldn't sleep, so I thought a little booze might help. Because, well, everybody should learn how to appreciate whiskey at some point in their lives. Unfortunately, I may have overestimated how much Ryan could appreciate at once. You did what? You get him drunk? That's irresponsible, just look at him. I can appreciate your intentions, but what if there had been an emergency? I appreciate your inventions too, Mark. Well, there wasn't. And the kid, he's a hard time of things. A dumb teenager thing like getting him drunk was long overdue. I didn't want to deprive him of the chance. Wow, that's not much of a chance, is it? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, not much of an experience you want to have, I don't know. Damn it, Corbeau, he's out for the day and this is all your fault. I should dock you fo uh, your food for this. Have him sleep it off today and don't do it again. Nah, 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 I'm cool. And burps some more puke on himself. Thanks for understanding. He needs moments like this. It's good for him. Now let's get you cleaned up. Come on, Ryan. Mm, yeah, he needs moments like this. Oh, there we go. As you're all aware, a Sergeant Hartz visited us this morning, allegedly on behalf of a U.S. Army scouting party. <clears throat> He's asking us for 40 rations of food and 20 gallons of gas on his return. For this, he will convince his superiors to assist us with aid on, or possibly even evacuation, uh, bleh, evacuation when he makes his report. This could be a way out for us. How should we proceed? Finally! I've been saying it since I got here. We're not equipped to deal with this in the long run. We need to get these people evacuated and into the safe zone. Those supplies are a small price to pay for our safety. And let's not forget the hope it's going to give everyone around here. To you. But I trust you to make the right call on this one. And I'll back you no matter your decision. I was in the army, and it's not uncommon for soldiers to have to fend for themselves when supplies are tight. I can only imagine the state of the supply lines right now, especially here in Texas. 
However, this scouting party story doesn't mesh with standard protocol. It's too risky and too low budget. If there's really a safe zone, there's better ways to get intel. Satellites, helicopters, caravans... Something about their story... It's off. I don't have any proof, but that's what my instincts tell me. Hmm. To you. I think it's the right thing to do. If you think it's the right thing to do, I'll go against my better instincts and support you. So, here's what I think, okay? Try to keep up with me. Fuck the military. If they had done their jobs, we wouldn't be in this mess. Unless you really think this is the right call, then okay, sure, I'll support it, but I better not regret it. Of course we should support them, and I think most people here would agree. Isn't that what we've all been waiting for? This seems like the miracle we've been praying for. Per oh my god. Perhaps God is watching out for us after all. This shouldn't even be up for debate. These are soldiers, heroes risking their lives to restore law and order. They ask for so little, uh, they, they ask so little for so much. Of course we need to help them. If you really can't, and I don't know how a reason why I wouldn't, I'll support you in this. Looks like we've got a pretty clear cut decision to make. Do we give them the supplies or not? We can hold out a little longer. We're not, good in, we're not giving them the supplies. If it means getting out of here, we're going to give them the supplies. Yeah, I don't know, it, it does sound fishy, you know? I'm kind of tempted to give them the supplies. Um, but at the same time... Um, he was in the military, Paul Rainier, you know? And... Um, I don't know. He says that it sounds fishy. So, we can hold out, hold out a little longer. The proposal is to not give hearts and his men any of our resources. Is that your final decision? Yes, that is my final decision. On second thought, I think we need to consider another approach. Well, these guys disagree. And only these two agree. Didn't she say she would support me? Hmm. I'm going to give them the supplies. No, we're not going to give them the supplies. The final decision is not to give our supplies to the military scout forces. If you don't, uh, really don't trust them to get us out of here, well then, I guess we'll have to find another way. A wise course of action. If the military is really coming through here, we'll find another way to make amends with them later. Great. I like it when things go my way. The majority of the people here aren't going to want to hear this. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like your decision is re respecting the wishes of the other survivors. You're playing it safe, I understand. I'll do my best to try and handle the fallout from this decision. That concludes our meeting. We'll wait for Hearts and his men to come back to inform them of our decision. Hmm. Crisis summary. I don't agree, but I respect your decision. I agree, I agree, I disagree. Uh, so everyone agrees or respects my decision except Todd. Why is he even on the bloody council? God. Morale increased in the shelter. Sublina morale. Okay. Most of the shelter agrees with your decision. Okay. Well, that's it. We're not giving them any supplies. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.